an undersea expedition to a mysterious world beneath the waves. Most people are unaware of it. West Seattle's Lincoln Park is just one stop on a week-long mission to help understand and save some of our area's most important natural resources, its kelp forests. Kelp forests are an underpinning for all of our food systems, for our cultures, for our way of life here. But the Salish Sea's bull kelp has been disappearing at an alarming rate. In the last 150 years, we've lost um, about 80% of our kelp forests. That's bad news for the sea life that depends upon it, up and down the food chain. From forage fish to salmon and ultimately to orcas. So researchers from the Department of Natural Resources and the Puget Sound Restoration Fund are teaming up with government agencies, nonprofits, local tribes, and volunteers to measure and study this vast undersea habitat. So by aerial photography, satellite, and drone, taking lots of samples to try to characterize the environment, um, the temperature, the pH of the water inside and outside the bed. We had a team of divers um, that were doing underwater ecological monitoring. Tom Mumford, the marine biologist they call Captain Kelp, has had his eye on this endangered habitat longer than just about anyone. How do you get people to care? How do you get people to really wake up and going, this is important, we need to be paying attention to it? The stakes are incredibly high. The consequences of losing it, I think, are going to be more serious than people think. Kelp beds provide hatching grounds for marine life, and they're the breadbasket of Puget Sound. Kelp can grow many feet a day. It rivals, say, an alfalfa field, just in terms of the amount of food it provides to the ecosystem. But with rising sea temperatures, they depend on cold water. It will take a worldwide effort to save them. I, I think we can do it. This is more than just an expedition in search of answers. It is also a journey of hope. We'll find a way forward.